Happy Easter to us all. This is the greatest feast for us. This is the feast of our redemption. There is that famous line in a song, God will make a way when there seems to be no way. This is a simple way of expressing our Easter faith. There is no such thing as there is no longer any way. There is no such thing as this is the end of the road. Na wala na tayong magagawa. Yan siguro ang para sa mga tao. Pero hindi yan totoo sa Diyos. At sa mga lahat na naniniwala sa Diyos. Wala nang magagawa ang mga Israelita noong na-corner na sila na mga Egyptians. Nasa harap nila ay ang dagat at nasa likod nila ay ang mga karwahe ng mga Egyptians. But the unimaginable happened. The sea broke open and they passed through the sea to freedom. The sea that saved them killed their enemies. Nalunod ang mga Egyptians. This experience of the Exodus is the most significant experience of the Israelites about God's saving action. So, in every situation in their national history and in their personal lives, when they find themselves cornered at the end of the rope, wala nang mapuntahan, they remember the God of the Exodus and they hang on with hope. God never fails to save them. God will find a way. There is nothing impossible with God. There is nothing more hopeless than death. Kapag patay na, wala ka nang magagawa. Patay na. Tapos na. Iyan marahil ang paningin ng mga disciples ni Jesus. Tapos na siya. Inilibing na Even the women who went to the tomb had this view. They went there to anoint a dead body and to mourn over him. This is why the resurrection is totally unexpected. Yes, Jesus spoke about the resurrection, but they had no idea what that meant. Yes, they believe in the resurrection, as many of the Jews in those times believe, but that will come at the end of time. Pero ngayon na ang resurrection? They could not imagine this. Kaya sila ay takot. Takot kasi wala silang alam kung ano ito. So the first words of the angel and of Jesus to them and the disciples were, Do not be afraid. Kasi takot sila. Para sa ating mga Kristiyano, Ito ang karanasan natin ng Diyos na tagapagligtas. Ang ating Exodus experience ay ang resurrection experience. God brings new life even in the midst of death and defeat. Jesus did not just return to life by the resurrection he acquired a new kind of life, which is much more than the one he had before. Mga kaibigan, ito po ang ipinagdiriwang natin sa dakilang gabing ito. Ang ating karanasan ng tagumpay sa harap ng kasawian. 
we use different images to celebrate this truth. Sa ating mga Pilipino, kapag sinabi nating mahal na araw, ang tinutukoy natin na ngayong Biyernes Santo. Pagkatapos ng Biyernes Santo, tapos na ang mahal na araw. Kaya ang daming tao na nasa simbahan sa Biyernes Santo, pero kakaunti na lang ang dumadating sa pagdiriwang ng muling pagkabuhay. Hindi po natapos ang kwento kasi namatay si Jesus. Tuloy ang kwento ng kanyang muling sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Hopefully, by this online celebration of the Easter Vigil, we can better appreciate the importance of this night for us, the night of our liberation. Easter completes Good Friday. Without Easter, the story is sad. It ends with death. But with Easter, then there is hope, there is joy. Ang unang tanda na ginamit natin ay ang tanda ng ilaw. Ang dilim ay natalo ng liwanag. Nagsimula tayo na nababalot ng dilim ang buong simbahan. Ngunit tumakbo ang dilim pagdating ng liwanag na dinala sa atin ng Pascal Candle, itong kandilang nasa harap natin, which represents the resurrection who is now the Lord of all time. So this Pascal Candle will be with us through the seven days, seven weeks of the past Easter season to remind us that light overcomes darkness, truth overcomes lies. And this is the essence of our beautiful ancient hymn, The Exultet, na kahit na nga ang kasamaan, ang kasalanan ni Adan ay tinawag na happy fault because it deserves such a savior. Then we proceeded to the celebration of the word. Mahaba po ang mga pagbasa natin. Because this is a vigil, ibig sabihin, magdamagang pag-aantay, magdamag buong gabi. Habang tayo ay nag-aantay, pinapaalalahanan tayo ng kasaysayan ng ating relationship with God. The history of our relationship with God. Mula sa paglikha hanggang sa pagbuo ng Diyos ng isang bayan mula kay Abraham hanggang sa pagliligtas sa bayang ito mula sa Egypto hanggang sa pag-alaga ng bayan ng Diyos sa pagpapadala ng mga propeta at mga pantas hanggang sa pangako na magkakaroon ng pagbabagong tipan ng bayan ng Diyos na hindi lang para sa isang lahi, hindi lang para sa mga Hudyo, ngunit para sa lahat. And the culmination of all these actions of God is the resurrection of Jesus, which we celebrate with great joy at the singing of the Gloria and the Alleluia. Itong tagumpay ni Jesus ay hindi lang para sa Kanya. Ito ay tagumpay din natin. We participate in this victory over death, His victory over sin and over evil. This we do in our baptism. Sa binyag, nalunod ang ating dating pagkatao sa tubig. Namatay 
ang mga hilig ng kasamaan at lumabas tayo sa tubig ng binyag na may bagong buhay. Ipinanganak tayong muli. We are born again into a new life. Mga anak na tayo ng Diyos. Hawak-hawak ang liwanag ni Kristo na paluputan ng puting damit. Mga simbolo na ginagamit natin sa binyag. Ang tubig, ang kandilang nakasindi, at ang puting damit. For all of us who are already baptized, we look back on our baptism. We renew our baptismal commitments. Although we are baptized only once, but all through life, we live our being sons and daughters of God. In fact, we live now the new life given to us by baptism. Every day, we reject Satan. We reject sin and temptation as what we promised in our baptism. Every day, we live a life of faith in God the Father, in Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit, in the Catholic Church, in the forgiveness of sins, in the resurrection of the dead. Yan po yung buhay kristiyano, turning our back from sin and drawing close to God. Yan po yung sinasabuhay natin araw-araw. And because we are children of God, we can now participate in the banquet of God's family. Thus, the last part of our celebration is the sharing in the Eucharist, which unfortunately, now, you cannot have. But don't worry. Magtatapos din itong lockdown na ito. Makakasamba na rin tayong muli. Makakakumunyon na rin tayong muli. Na-extend ang lockdown sa Luzon. Hindi pa rin tayo makalalabas. Para sa marami, walang kaso ito. Nasanay na tayo sa loob ng bahay ng isang buwan. Ang mas nakakabahala ay hindi pa tayo makapagtratrabaho. Malaking bagay ito, lalo na sa mga naghahanap buhay ng arawan o kaya yung mga nasa informal sector. Tatlong linggo pa, makakaya pa kaya natin? Mapapahaba pa kaya natin ang PC na kakapita natin? Ang pakiramdang ng marami ay cornered na tayo. Saan pa tayo pupunta? Kanino pa tayo makapangungutang? Sa kalagayang ito, ang unang salita ni Jesus sa mga babae at sa atin ay mahalaga. Do not be afraid. Huwag kayong matakot. Kaya niyang buksan ang libingan natin. God will find a way when there is no way. Yes, God will act. But we may say, but when? Where? How? Who are we to put a limit to the saving actions of God? Hindi naman inakala ng mga Israelites na bubuka ang tubig at ililigtas sila. Hindi naman inakala ng mga disciples na bubuhay muli si Jesus. Let us not put limits to what God can do. This is why He tells us, Keep still and know that I am God. Keeping still does not mean doing nothing, being unconcerned. It means being expectant. Nag-aabang tayo sa gagawin ng Diyos. 
Dahil sa tayo'y nag-aabang, gising tayo. Alam natin ang nangyayari ngayon. Hindi tayo nagbubulag-bulagan na parang okay lang ang lahat. Mula tayo sa kalagayan natin at ng maraming tao. As Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sent to a mission by the angel and by the resurrected Jesus himself, we too who celebrate the resurrection are sent to a mission. There is an intrinsic relationship between resurrection and mission. We cannot be recipients of the experience of the resurrection without being sent. Tayo rin ay pinadadala. We are sent. Would that be to comfort others? Would that be to serve others? Would that be to go out of our way to help others? Because we know that the Lord is alive, let us lead others to feel that He indeed is alive, that Jesus cares, that Jesus saves. And this we do by our caring for others. Hindi naman mararamdaman si Jesus kundi sa pamamagitan natin ng mga kapatid niya. Oo, tayong lahat ay nasa isang bangka ng lockdown. Dahil sa naniniwala tayong si Jesus ay nandyan at inililigtas tayo, ipadama natin ang kaligtasan ni Jesus sa ating mapagligtas na kamay at pangkalinga. In this way, we spread the good news of the new life of God. Hindi natatakpan ng pandemic ang kaligayahan at pag-asa ng Easter. Easter is an assurance that God who is with us is victorious. We may not know how, but He is. This hope gives us joy. This joy is not because we already see the solution. No, we don't. There is this joy because the victorious Jesus is with us. We too will share in His victory. Sa ganitong paraan ng ating pagsisikap na magpadama sa iba ng pagkalinga ni Jesus, Mapapatanong ang ibang tao, Bakit ka masaya? Bakit ka matulungin? Bakit ka mapagbigay gayong nasa parehong kalagayan ng lockdown naman tayo? Bakit ka mapagpasyensya? Ganito ako, sapakat si Jesus ay muling nabuhay. At isinasabuhay ko na ngayon, ang muling pagkabuhay niya. Hindi niya tayo pababayaan. Jesus will make a way. Let us be attentive to Him as He shows us this new way.